So one of the biggest culprits of fatigue is the energy crash we get after eating sugar. Now, you all know that, and you try to do everything you can to avoid it. So the next piece of Dr. Landa's fatigue solution is a brand new sugar substitute that she says will satisfy your sweet tooth without crashing your energy. So what is this new alternative? You know, I've got a major sweet tooth, and I found that the sugar was something that was really crashing my energy. So this is an awesome alternative. It's a new thing called monk fruit. Well, it's not a new thing. That would be totally yeah. mistaking it. Uh, the monk fruit is a fruit. It's a round fruit, looks like that, that's found in Southeast Asia. And they've been using it for hundreds of years there for medicinal properties, natural medicine, and it's sweetness. It's got 150 times the sweetness of sugar. And now they're putting it into sweeteners. So I get mine at my local health food store in the form Lo Hung Guo like this. But you can also now, excitingly, find it in conventional supermarkets, in the orange packets, the monk fruit. So a lot of you are unhappy with the blues, the pinks, and the yellows, but no more. Forget about these. Make room for the orange. That's what it's going to look like. This is going to change your life. So I have a medical team do extensive research on this. Guess what they found? They found that traditional Chinese medicine, as Dr. Landa outlined, has been using monk fruit to treat diabetes and obesity for not decades, for centuries. And they were using it because this sweetener has a very low glycemic index. It just doesn't jack up your blood, blood sugar and therefore doesn't cause and wreak havoc with your hormones, which is a big problem with fatigue. And they actually had some recent studies that were done, test tube studies, that found that it stimulates insulin secretion, which is a good thing, especially if you have blood sugar issues. So you told us generally where to get it, but walk me through the individual ways that you can take it. Sure. Absolutely. So you can get it in the packet form, mm. so you can add it to beverages and things like that. You can get it in the dropper form as well, mm. and that's great to have on the go in your purse, drop it into your coffee, things like that. And then it comes in the scoopable form, so you can use it in baking or in recipes. And it only has three calories per serving. Three calories per serving means it basically is dietetically considered zero calories by the FDA. So I want you today to go out and find some of this stuff. It's, and we checked it out. You can actually find it now. And when you find the monk fruit, I want you to use it in your coffee or tea tomorrow morning. Uh, you want to look for pure monk fruit sweetener with no added sugar alcohols. You don't want to get any crazy stuff in there. Can I take a taste of it? Yeah, let's This is do my it. inaugural, my virginal <laughs> taste awesome. of monk fruit. <laughs> let's see. Cheers. But this is really good. It's very fruity. You know, I love when I find new things like this. No, it really, it's, 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 a, it's wonderful for me to, as a scientist to find or as a doctor, but I think it's great for all of you at least to give this a shot. As a, as, and something that I think, if we talk about this a month from now, everyone's going to say, oh, I know about monk fruit all the way back when. <laughs> but now you'll actually have heard it here first. Take it, use it, try it, and please send us some feedback. I love hearing when folks like things. And if you don't like it, I want to hear about that too. All right, up next, the surprising reason you are fatigued could be hiding in your medicine cabinet. Stay with us. <laughs> 